Well, this is my feeble attempt at breakfast this morning. Um, it, it should taste okay. So we've got bacon, egg, hash brown, cheese, toasted sandwiches. Um, I had to improvise a bit there with uh, some of my cooking utensils. I had no oven tray to cook bacon or um, hash browns. I'm not used to electric cooking. Um, but anyway, we'll go with this. We um, are going to pick up our magic bands that we had delivered to guest services and um, we'll probably head for Epcot at around 8.30. Um, I've been up since 2.30 this morning, so loving this jet lag. I think, uh, Nat, you've had a better sleep, haven't you? I had a great sleep. Yeah. What did you tell me? I fell asleep with the light on and my phone in my head. <laughs> so, yeah, Nat was tired. Anyway, um, we're going to get stuck into these and um, finish getting ready and head off, um, head off to Epcot. I've booked... Um, our first lightning lane, which is test track, and I've joined the virtual queue for Guardians of the Galaxy. So a few things on the agenda already this morning. We'll take you along when we get there. Definitely warm already. I think we've got about 15 minutes until we have to go for our Guardians Pass. So we'll just uh, get our bearings, get some photos. All right, we're just making our way on to our first ride. So we're headed for Guardians of the Galaxy. So, we're in the 945 virtual queue, so the line looks pretty good out here. Let's see what it's like inside. Is that not wondrous? There are so many wonders in our universe. When it comes to feeding our population, our vast agricultural farms are a true wonder. <laughs> Life giving waters of our but they also <laughs> So we've just come off Guardians of the Galaxy. Nat, tell them what you thought. Never again. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> They're lucky I didn't vomit. Dude, she, she, she did very well not to actually. I was, um, we were right in front and I was watching her. I'm like, breathe really deep, Nat. Breathe really deep. <laughs> so well done on that vomit in. <laughs> but she'll never go on it again. I reckon it was awesome. Like, it was fast, it was, you know, it was pretty intense, but it was lots of fun, so. But I won't make that go on it again, because she might spew on me. <laughs> anyway, um, it's almost 11. We've got, um, what do we got? A lightning lane for test track now. So we'll, <laughs> we'll just let Nat sit for five, have a drink, um, and then we're gonna make our way over to test track. And hopefully that one's not as fast. Alright, Nat's going to design our car here. What are we having? Nice sleek design. Oh, long and sleek. Oh, nice 
nice pink one. Choose wheels. Lots of power, efficiency, capability is it's low. I don't know, I don't even know what capability means. No. All right, that's our vehicle. Happy with that? Yep. yep. All right, we're just uh, gonna head into our Next ride now, heading into Soaring. So we've done this one at um, California Adventure Park. Let's see how similar it is. We've just arrived at our lunch reservation. We are at um, Garden Grill, uh, character dining with Chippendale. So um, it's nice to sit down. Um, it's quite warm outside, we're a little bit sweaty. So it's slightly rotating. Um, I lost my train of thought there. Oh, it's sweaty, really sweaty. Um, it's quite humid outside, but um, anyway, it's nice to sit in the aircon for half an hour or so, have lunch, um, figure out what our plans are for the afternoon. So this is a, um, a family style lunch, so they brought out a um, nice tartan salad to start, some bread rolls, some liquid butter. Nat's just got some lemonade there. I've got a Coke. Um, I think they'll bring out some chicken, steak, mashed potatoes, corn, mac and cheese. Um, sounds like more food than we need, but anyway, um, we'll get stuck into this. How are you today? Good? Hi Pluto. How are you? You're hungry? Do you want to join us? Yeah? She's not eating much, you can have hers. <laughs> Photo? Photo? How are you? Good? Yeah? Did you grow these vegetables? Yeah? They're great. I love the beans. Beans are great. Yeah, really good. Well, it's 12 past eight. <laughs> it's been a super eventful afternoon for us. <laughs> We've both been in bed. <laughs> um, we did go to lunch at Garden Grill. Oh, you would have seen that now by now anyway. Um, Nat wasn't feeling great after the Guardian's ride. Um, the worst ride in the world. <laughs> See, I really liked it, but anyway. Um, it's, look, I think if you're a person who does get motion sickness, I would suggest do not go on the ride. Like, it's it's pretty intense. Um, don't do it, <laughs> just don't. It doesn't turn you upside down, but um, you go backwards. Um, uh, it, it spins you around, you're in the dark, it's fast, um, yeah, it's it's pretty full on. Um, probably the limit for me for a roller coaster, um, but yeah. Anyway, so Nat didn't really feel well at lunch and um, Garden Grill was like a, um, a family style sharing all you can eat. I think it was about $62 per person, um, but we had a really great server. He noticed that Natalie wasn't eating anything. Like she put some food on her plate and literally, I think ate a bread roll. Yeah. Um, so it was gonna be a super expensive bread roll for $62. Um, but anyway, when, when he came and bought the bill, and, and she did explain to him she that she wasn't feeling well. Um, and when he bought the bill, he said to us that he'd been and spoken to his manager and explained that she wasn't well and um, that they didn't charge us for her meal. So that was really good of him. Um, we appreciated that. Anyway, we did go to do um, oh, space, 
space something after that. We had a lightning lane, um, but that had broken down. So we went and bought our super expensive um, Mickey ears. So they're really cool. I'll get them a bit closer. They're um, they're hundred year ones, so they're really nice. But you know they cost an arm and a leg. They were just under forty three dollars with tax. So. They may be the only ones that we're going to buy. Usually we we get a couple of pairs, you know, have different ones each day, but um, not at that price. So anyway, we came back here to our villa after that. Um, so Nat could have a bit of a rest. And because I'd been awake since 2.30 a.m., I thought, oh, I'll have a little bit of a nap. And I woke up at 6 p.m. and I feel like a truck has hit me. Um, just, you know, a bit of a sore throat and stuffy head and sore eyes and whatnot. So hoping that it's just feeling a bit run down from about four nights of not a lot of sleep now. Um, been to Walmart, bought half the pharmacy section, um, got some severe cold and flu tablets, even though like that's probably pushing it a bit. It's not severe by any means, but I don't want to feel like this spending the day at Magic Kingdom tomorrow. So I'm going to have an early night. And um, I got melatonin as well, so I'll dose myself up, get some sleep, and see what tomorrow brings. And look at the end of the day, if um, you know, if I'm not feeling well, we've always got the option of switching our days around because the next one after that was literally gonna be like a bit of a rest day. We you know, do have park hopper tickets. We've got the option of going to the park in the afternoon, but we could always swap that and do that tomorrow and then the full day, the day after anyway. We'll see, um, we'll see what morning time brings. We'll see if we both get a decent sleep. Although Nat, you had no problem sleeping. No. Did you? No. So um, anyway, I'll drug myself and uh, see how I feel in the morning. All right, we'll see you all tomorrow. Night. Good night. made it to Magic Kingdom. Um, we've got a breakfast reservation at um, Crystal Palace, which we're about 15 minutes late for. We didn't realize that, um, gosh, after we got dropped off by an Uber, then we had to get on a monorail to come up to the park entrance. So lesson learned, it's a little bit different than Disneyland and we should have allowed ourselves a little bit of extra time. Anyway, let's hope that they still honor our reservation. Um, I think it's a character breakfast with Pooh Bear and friends. So we will um, take you along with us for the day. Okay, so we've sat down for a buffet breakfast here. Um, I don't think I could have fit any more on my plate. I have a little bit of everything. We've got scrambled egg, frittata, cheesy hash, fried chicken, bacon, Mickey waffles, fruit. And that's just got a tiny little selection there. I'm not going to get through all of this, but I'm going to give everything a taste.
everyone. Hi. Hi. Well, we've um, had breakfast with Winnie the Pooh and his friends. Um, what have we just done? Haunted Mansion? Yeah. So it was a 35 minute standby line on Haunted Mansion, but um, I reckon we got in in 15. Yeah, it was, it was really quick. Um, we've got a lightning lane now for Thunder Mountain Railroad. We weren't sure if we were going to get on that because um, it had been closed for the past 45 minutes or so, but it says it's back open, so we're making our way around there and I'm um, going to try and film a bit on that. It's one of our favourite rides at Disneyland, so I'm sure it'll be pretty much the same here. Alright, we'll take you along. We'd um, hop into the confectionery store, get our uh, sugar fix, uh, buy some Rice Krispie treats. We love these. Cute little candy apples. Let's have a look around, see what else we can find. Nice M&M wall there. I'm a bit of a sucker too for caramel popcorn. Or any sort of popcorn really so i have to buy some of this so i've got m m rice crispy treats caramel popcorn sweet tooth well and truly activated let's see what they've got down here some more uh oh, looks like um 100 year celebration popcorn and rice crispy treats I think they have Rice Krispie treats in every um, every celebration by the looks of it. Cute little chocolate selection there too. They actually all sound really nice. I might have to get one of those too. These don't sound too bad. Lemon burst cookies. I also like anything lemon flavour. Looks like we've got some Chippendale nutty snacks. Some dried fruit that might be a bit too healthy. Trail mix. I think the lemon cookies definitely sound better. Right. Get those too. And you all know I'm a big coffee fan. Here we've got Mickey's coffee. We've got pumpkin spice blend. Signature blend. I think that's French vanilla. Organic. Hazelnut one down there. And some cocoa. Well, it's 12:30, and we're on the monorail. Um, I feel like crap, so um, we're going to head back to the villa for a little while so I can have a bit of a rest. And um, 
hopefully I can sleep off this cold. Hopefully it's just a really quick um, 24-hour bug. Um, I am taking cold and flu tablets, but they're making me feel really drowsy. So anyway, we've done you know quite a few things this morning. Um, so we'll just have a bit of a rest, and if we feel like coming back tonight, we will. Um, if not, tomorrow's a new day. stop here at Joffrey's so you all know that I'm a big coffee fan and I do love my Starbucks but I've been told that um, well not told I've seen on vlogs that Joffrey's is pretty damn good so let's do the test here and see what they're like I'll let you know okay it's gonna want to be good coffee because two iced lattes and two donuts just cost $25 so better be good <laughs> Okay, here goes the taste test. I think it's good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's good because I don't think I've got much taste buds at the moment since I'm sick. But from what I can tell, it's strong. Yeah. Yep. Mm. I do have vanilla in mine. I think I can taste the sweetness. That's about it at the moment though. So I'm going to have to get another one when I feel better. Well, it's seven o'clock. I think I've slept the whole afternoon away. Good news is I feel a tad a little bit more human. Um, we just decided to get some Uber Eats for dinner. We've never had Chick-fil-A before, so I um, thought we'd give that a go and see if it lives up to all the hype. I'll let you know what we think. Um, I have chicken tenders. And um, apparently this is the this is the sauce to go with. Let's see what that's like. Got some mac and cheese to share. And waffle fries. That burger looks very cheesy. And waffle, waffle fries there as well, and just some ketchup for that. Anyway, we'll try this out. See what we think. So Nat, what did you think? It's all right. Yeah. I wasn't a huge fan. No. But... Well, I couldn't taste it. <laughs> so it's hard for me to hard for me to pass judgment on it. All I can tell you is that the chicken tenders were juicy. Oh sorry, that's the noise of the washing machine in the background there. Um yeah. It would be nice if um if I could have tasted that. But anyway, it's what it is. Hopefully tomorrow is a better day. And hopefully we uh, could bring some more exciting vlogs to you because uh, the past couple of days have probably been a little bit dull. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to bed very soon. I don't know what Nat's gonna do. Her washing, mm. yeah. Um, we had planned on um, a bit of a quiet day tomorrow. We do have a park ticket that we're aiming to go in the afternoon, hopefully back to Epcot. So hopefully good night's sleep and um, I will be feeling a lot better tomorrow. And we can bring you some more exciting vlogs of um, more than just showing you food and telling you we don't feel well and we're going home. <laughs> um, all right. Well, if you're still with us, thanks for watching. I promise we'll get better. See you.